And the line looks good. Robe de Fate stands in well. Trebler, likewise, the gates open. Away they go. Leak was a touch tardy out of the gates with Red's mate. They're going to go back. Robe de Fate aided by the inside. Has to really work with Trebler, Vexatious Boy, Power Rush. And there's an early line of four here. Trebler and Vexatious Boy getting the uh, little bit the better of Robe de Fate, who has the inside running in the advantage there. Power Rush has cruised across to fourth. And Extolment getting a little bit fired up back fifth. Our Sustar. A gap then Leak. Mr. Boom Jangles well out of it. And Red's mate the last one. So inside the seven, Trebler in the centre. Vexatious Boy three deep. Robe de Fate's had the inside running. But it's had the chase from the get-go. Extolment getting forward and then behind those our Sustar down the side of the course Power Rush dropped off Mr Boom Jangle starting to put in it's getting up on the inside and starting to close in from Leaked and Red's mate tacking on so inside the four and Trabler and Vexatious boy they've really worked but they come around the turn clear getting out Robe to Fate might appreciate clean air and looks to be running on and then Extolment Mr Boom Jangles is going to poke through late now Sustar Robe to Fate deep out going out after Trebler Trebler Robe to Fate Robe to Fate grab the lead from Trebler getting through late Mr. Boom Jangles, but yes, too good Robe the Fate the Fave, goes on to score and wins it well, second Trebler tight third, Mr. Boom Jangles and look at Red's mate out wide, closing in for that photo for third, and then Vexatious Boy, Extolment didn't come on well back in the field then, we would have had leaked our Sustar dropping out and Power Rush the last one home Robe de Fate was never really comfortable in the run, but Jared Todd electing just to let those leaders go and then go for home out wide, and he really did pick up beautifully late and has come away to score quite comfortably on the line. Number one, Robe de Fate first up for Jared Todd, Gary Clark here in the top end. Nice finish in 109-1, of course, hand time. We stand by for the miners here. Trebler boxing on well, gets that. Number five, so the Quinella for the Clark Stable. Barry Huppert's aboard. And we stand by for third. Mr. Boom Jangles in that photo with the Reds mate who was coming two to its one late. And six Reds mate gets that in front of two Mr. Boom Jangles. So one, five, six confirmed. Fourth goes to two, and that was Mr. Boom Jangles. So one, five, six, and two in 109 one. One robe to fade, a six-year-old chestnut gilding, Shawasi party dress for Charlene Clark, S. Hazel, S. R. Aylett, P. C. Hassett, B. T. Cunningham, D. R. J. De Silva, and Kev King, trained by Gary Clark and ridden by Jared Todd. And uh, that's Toddy's second winner on today's card. Getting up earlier on the day, two and three quarters a neck the margin. Toddy winning on sink line. Second goes to five, Trebler, a six-year-old chestnut gilding. Magic Albert, eyes for you, Gary Clark, Barry Uppets. And third goes to number six, Red's mate, a real eye catcher there. Six-year-old bay gilding, Heritage, Cambiata for Chris Pollard and Sonia Wiseman in front of two. Mr Boom Jangles just missing out there in front of nine. Vexatious boy who didn't run a bad race. Two and three quarters a neck. And the winner is about to return, number one, Robe de Fate. The start 33, wins six this afternoon, three minors. Got a bit of prize money in the bank. It takes it up to $147,000 now, this uh, six-year-old. Gary Clark producing him well this afternoon. And a pretty strong win, really, because he had to come off the speed and go around him and come again. Not easy to do, first time under race conditions, but he did it well. And this chestnut gilding by Shawasi looks a lot like Dad. Just a little bit too good. We stand by for correct weight to come through. Folks, put your hands together for the winner, Robe to Fate.